Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. Welcome into my studio and also onto my YouTube channel. And today on this video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint this macaw. And I'm going to do it in a direct painting method, so I'm not going to use any glazes. So that's going to bring its own challenges. Now, this is the time lapse speeded up version. And if you'd like to have a slowed down version, if this is a bit too fast for you, I've got a two and a quarter hour video of this over on my brand new Patreon channel. And that's just packed full of tips and tutorial and techniques over on, on there. There's also lots of um, other videos and reference photos for Blind Art on there too. So let's see how I tackle this paint then. So I've already transferred my drawing, I've got my alkyd oil paints all set out on my glass palette to the left hand side and I'm just starting to block in the actual fleshy parts of this macaw. Now although the skin is actually white there's lots of colours where the colours are actually bouncing around in there too so it's not just a flat, a flat tonal white. I've blocked in the eye and now I'm blocking in the beak. All of these things will be covered with numerous other layers as you see I build up the technique on there and start building up the layers so I'm just getting in those darks for the moment and now I'm blocking in that beak with Naples yellow and some titanium white as well and just putting in the suggestions of things like highlights and where the lightest lights and the darkest darks are going to be and now blocking in the red now my main red for this is Windsor red and I'm also using a rose red as well for the darker areas so just blocking it in and I'm starting on the background where I've made a nice muted green up. And I'll put in some of the darks of the red. Now notice it's quite transparent so it's going to take a couple of layers to really cover the canvas well. Blocking in that vibrant blue on the wing. Getting the shadows in there first before I come in with the block in main colour. And now doing a little bit of the green all under painting. Now with alkyd oils it dries overnight so that allows me to continue the process quite quickly for the next morning. And on that dried background I've decided to put another layer on there to make it much more opaque. And now for the second layer I'm getting it opaque again and I'm able to get it much closer to the colours I want. Add in some of the highlights to the face. Nice thick paint and some of that skin texture too. Unfortunately on the speeded up version it's quite difficult to see the texture as I'm painting it. A little bit of highlight and then starting to work the feathers again. These little face feathers are really giving shape and form. You can see the finished painting on the left there and I did them wet on wet over that um, white flesh area. Just starting more refinement now putting in some of the lighter colours and I'm lightening my reds with an orange and that's preventing it from going very pink. If I put any white in with the red it would go really pink straight away. So still using quite a large brush, bristle brushes I'm using for most of this painting. And now I've changed the colour on the wing to a colour that's closer to the reference material and starting to add a little bit of refinement there as well. Outlining some of the individual feathers, not too many. I don't want the painting to look stiff and rigid. I want there to be life in the painting. And I also don't want too many details in it either. So I'm only really detailing the main parts and a couple of the important feathers as well. I don't want this painting to look overworked. So here I'm refining some of the edges and the shadowy areas in between the feathers before putting some of the highlights on. And just a suggestion of details here and there. And now back in to refine the beak. It's a real showy centre of interest part of the painting so it needs details which I can now start to put in with a smaller round brush and also a rigger brush as well. Hope you've enjoyed this short painting. If you'd like to see a two and a quarter hour version over on my Patreon channel, patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. Like to see you all there again soon to join my Patreon community.
Hope you've enjoyed that video. And if so, I got lots more on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button. On my website, I've got full length feature videos, I've got reference photo CDs, and ebooks, and also the new Easy Trace Line Art tool. So hope to see you either on my YouTube or my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again real soon.